Hey, what's good? This week's unsung hero is Richard Pierpoint. Taken from Bondu, Senegal when he was just a teen, Richard was shipped to America, a man treated like machine. A call was put out, giving a chance for Richard to be freed. If he'd fight in the British army to this, he soon agreed. So Pierpoint became a black loyalist and joined the British to fight in the colonist revolution to gain back his freedom, his right. He settled in Niagara, Canada, after the war had been fought. But instead of a life of agreement, Pierpoint kept stirring the pot. During the War of 1812, he petitioned to raise a corpse, a company of black men who fought for the British once more. While he fought for settlers' land rights and re-enslavement to be banned, his most heartfelt but failed petition was to go back to his motherland. Richard was a black loyalist. He received land and freedom from enslavement for fighting with the British in the American Revolution. After the war, Richard settled in Upper Canada, now known as Ontario. Richard and other black residents asked for land next to each other to form a community, but the request was rejected. In the War of 1812, when Richard was already 68 years old, he formed an all-black group of soldiers to protect the area where they lived. Afterwards, Richard asked to go back to his original home in West Africa. However, the government refused and gave him 100 acres of land instead. Richard Pierpoint died in the, la in the winter of 1837 to 1838. He left no family or successors and left his estate to Lemuel Brown of Grantham Township. His burial place is unknown, but according to oral history in the Black Canadian community, Pierpoint was a gifted storyteller in the West African tradition of the Griot. He traveled around Upper Canada with Deaf Moses, recounting stories to members of the Black communities in both the Niagara and Garifraxa regions. To retell the stories, it is said that he would pull a pebble from his pouch and launch into a story. By the end of his life, he had amassed 94 years of personal experience and countless more through the voices of his community. His legacy is that of a leader in the early black Canadian community who fought and petitioned for causes important to himself, his community, and to Canada as a whole. His petitions provide the picture of a man taken from his home and enslaved as a teenager who fought for his freedom in two wars and who worked to build a black community amid prejudice and discrimination. In 2013, the Government of Canada named the federal building in London, Ontario the Richard Pierpoint Building in recognition of his contributions to the colored corpse in the War of 1812. And that is our unsung hero of the week, Richard Pierpoint.